Hey everyone, Eric, KJ4YZI, another video, new radio. Um, I recently showed you the video of the Bofeng GT3 Tri-Power, the 8-watt handheld. This is, you might be familiar with this box, this is the UV5R TP, which stands for Tri-Power. Uh, the difference with this between the regular UV5R is that it is an 8-watt Tri-Power unit. It does 1-watt, 4-watt, and 8-watt. All the accessories and all the... Uh, ex well, all the accessories, including the high capacity battery, which I bought with this because I recommend at high power, it's going to drain your battery faster. Uh, but your, all your accessories from your UV5R, UV5R Plus, and all that, they will fit with this unit. Um, now, the GT3 that I reviewed, the Tri Power, okay, doesn't have extended battery uh, or a battery eliminator like the UV5R does. So, a lot of people have the UV5Rs and they have the extended battery and they have the battery eliminator, but then they get the GT3 and none of them fit. Well, this radio, if you want the 8 watt version, they were smart to bring it back in the traditional form as the UV5R. So, let me show you what's in the box real quick. Open this up. Now, I've already opened this, tested it, uh, charged it, so it, it's not wrapped in the original plastic, but. Some pieces are, because I have multiple chargers and everything, so I didn't unpack the charger. But The manual that comes with it should be identical to the manual for the UV5R. Okay, there's, This video is going to be kind of quick, because there's not a lot of new features on here, other than the 8 watts. So, what I'm going to do is show you on a uh, power meter, the original 4 watt UV5R with power meter. Okay, and I'm also going to show you the UV5R TP box out of the way here. I'll show you the UV5R TP on a power meter and show you that it actually is 8 watts. Now again, I purchased the external or the optional high capacity battery. You'll notice it makes it taller and if you already have one of these, great, fits right on the radio because the radio does come with the regular standard battery here, but with the higher power it's going to drain faster. I recommend getting the upgraded battery. Also comes with of course the belt clip. All right, and it comes with the charger, the antenna right here, which is the stock, regular stock UV5R antenna. I recommend getting an upgraded antenna. That is a must. Uh, Hands-free kit, like every other one of them come with, with the earpiece and a little clip-on mic. And the wrist strap, of course. Here's your wrist strap. There, I always put these on the radios, and you can see on this one here, I don't like dropping my radios and busting them. But here is the charger that comes with it, and again, this charger is compatible with all your other UV5Rs that fit together. Anything that can be charged in a UV5R charger will work with this. So uh, I have about nine chargers, ten chargers of this kind, and I only use one at a time. There's no sense of having them all out there. This wall warp part, like I said in all the other videos, is uh, compatible with a lot of the other chargers so you can use the one wall wart and different bases or what have you but the GT3 will not fit in this so don't try it so uh, your charger remains the same so when you turn this on and check the firmware the firmware of the original UV5R let me show you that you hold number three and turn it on BFD 251, if you can see that. The firmware on the UV5R TP, BF, let me read that, hold on. It is BFP3 25. And what is the firmware on the GT3? I'll show you. It is identical. So the firmware of the GT3. And the UV5R TP, both the 8 watt handhelds have the same firmware. Same menu options, same features, so I'm not going to go through and show you all the features on these because they're identical to what you're used to. If you have never used one of these radios before, there's plenty of videos out there, you can go check them out. But this style with the 8 watt, uh, the 8 watt of this one went back to the original style, which is good for the battery eliminators, your speaker mic, your programming cable, all that is compatible with this radio, so you don't have to go buy new hardware. Just buy the radio if you want. If you don't have the programming software, I highly recommend you get that because it makes it a lot easier. Um, 
But here's my Smiley 5 8 wave antenna, mono band, I put on here. This antenna is great. Uh, I recommend an aftermarket antenna on all these radios. You have to have that. Frequency mode. Repeater. 4-D-H-K. Repeater. Alright. So it is uh, KJ4YZI for a test. That repeater is about six miles from me, so it's pretty good in my house. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on a power meter with the original one on the power meter and show you that it is an 8 watt upgrade and I had one question and I'll address that now uh, a lot of people, not a lot of people, a couple people asked the same question why don't you make a video with two 8 watt handhelds with you and a friend and see the actual distance on you know how it sounds apart well the reason I have not done that is because if I make a video telling you that my friend is four miles away and I'm sitting in my room in a block home on this radio and I'm talking to them back and forth. Nobody knows exactly what's in between my terrain and nobody knows how far I am uh, if I'm telling the truth or not or if it really is four miles but what I do is show that it is an 8 watt unit because I would rather have the extra uh, doubled power for when I'm out and about with the handheld it definitely makes a difference on repeaters. Um, I could hit a repeater now that's about 30, 35, about 35 miles away in Melbourne north of me with this in my house. Now it's really not the best uh, communication because I'm so far away but with the original UV5R uh, I couldn't even hit the repeater in my house and with the 8 watt version I can bring up the repeater and actually make a QSO but it's a little staticky at uh, that range. But you know when you're riding around town and you're just in a little fringe area where you're a little staticky you want a little extra power so that's what this is designed for of course. Uh, so let me go ahead and put these on a power meter and we'll see exactly what the difference is. Okay, so first, UV5R, 4 watt handheld. Turn it on. Panel mode. Okay, I'm on 2 meter band. Alright, and this cable goes up somewhere to, well, it goes to an adapter there, which goes up to my power meter, which isn't really the best power meter, but it works. So, uh, on the bottom scale there, you'll see 0, 5, 10, and 15. That's the scale I'm on. As I transmit on high power, 4 watts. Alright. 4 watts, right below the 5 there. And that is the regular, um, this one here. Alright. Now, if I, let me show you the uh, 8 watt. Okay, so here is the UV5R TP on VHF band with my cable going down to here going up into my VHF UHF power meter and on high power we have just over 8 watts if I can see that yep 8 watts right there that is on high power on this okay so there you have it 8 watts on the power meter. Alright, so what I've showed in my previous video on the GT3 TP, the other 8 watt handheld, these radios are now coming locked from 140 to 150 megahertz and 430 to 440 megahertz. Now, you'll remember all the other models that came out before this were unlocked 136 to 174 and 400 to 480 or 400 to 512. Well, what you need to do, no big deal, go to Google, type in Bofeng Radio website. It'll take you to this because when you type in this address, for some reason it doesn't take you to that site, or at least it doesn't for me, so I have it saved as a favorite, but you can go to Google and type it in and get right to this page. Go to support and go down to programming software. The software that I use on my computer, which is a Windows 7 64-bit, is right here, UV5R W64. Now, someone had meant to send a message to me saying it works with Chirp. I could not get Chirp working with either one of these. Yes, I put it in UV5R settings. It did not work. And also, the Chirp doesn't have support for 8 watt handheld yet, to my knowledge. But, when you download this VIP software, this is direct from Bofeng, download this and it will take you, once you install it, uh, you should have an icon 
for a program that looks like this, UV5RW64VIP, right here. Or if you go into all programs, it should have made you a folder. Once you click into here, this is your software. Now, this may be in Chinese like this, no problem. Up here on the top, not the last question mark, but the one to the left of it, you click that and it'll take you to English. All right. Now, um, with your radio turned on, plugged in, in VFO mode, not in a busy channel, first find your COM port, and there's multiple ways of doing that. I'm not going to go into how to find your COM port, but you should know which COM port your programming cable is. You can go to your device manager and find out what COM your prolific is. Mine is 10. Now go over here up into program and go read from radio. It starts reading. Now I've noticed a couple times when you click read it says fail to communicate. Try it again. Also if it says fail to communicate, unplug your USB cord from the computer, plug it back in, make sure your comms right, try it again. Usually the third time works. I've had that problem before and it's just unplug and plug it back in and try it again. When it says complete, cancel this out there's your frequencies. Now I haven't programmed this yet. So far these are uh, the frequencies that are in here. I only had the one in here, the 14652 for simplex for testing. So you're probably familiar with this, how to pro you know program it, your receive frequency which is a repeater frequency, the transmit, uh, the tone, your high, high medium or low power. In this case it only gives you high and low. So you'll have to go for medium or low on the front of the radio. Uh, wide and narrow, stuff like that. And your alpha tag over here. So what you want to get what you're gonna want to do is go up here to other. When you click other, this is the page where you can unlock the radio. Now if you really all you have to do is click right here and it's going to because these are already pre filled. If you click right, it's gonna write it back to the radio and you'll transmit 136 to 174, 400 to 479. Or you can click this box, more than 480 megahertz allow transmit. Now you can set this to a maximum of 520. 400 to 520. This box here, if you click that for some reason, it switches it to 220, which is not going to work on the radio. I don't recommend doing this. It's just not going to work. So uncheck that. Okay, it'll go back to right here. Alright, so this is where you want it. You have your unlock 136 to 174, 400, 520. Click right. It's going to write it. Done. Doesn't give you any confirmation or anything. It just says write. Done. You'll see the re radio reset. Once it resets, you're going to have your full transmit 136 to 174, 400 to 520. That's it. You can change your message over here too. Alright, but. Uh, that's pretty much how you unlock it. Very simple. And you can make a uh, file here for all your radios. Sometimes you cannot use your file that you may have from your original UV5R and forward it to this because the firmwares won't match. It'll give you an error. It'll tell you that some of the settings could not save and it won't have the offsets and whatnot. So you might have to, at this point, you might have to make a new file for these newer radios because the original ones that came out, the firmwares were the stock original firmwares and they just been so many changes that they may not transfer over. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Now if you go to optional features here and under edit, this is uh, some other things you can change. Uh, your, your light colors here, FM radio enabled, stuff like that, um, which the beginning versions of Chirp and stuff did not have this, but it's where you can set a lot of uh, a lot of different functions in here. So that's about everything on this radio in a nutshell. It's 8 watts. It is compatible with all your UV5R gear that you have. And it comes locked now, but you can simply unlock it with the software that you've downloaded from the Vofun website and uh, program it here. So I hope this video uh, summed it up for you. I've had a couple of you ask for it, so thank you. And uh, more videos on the way. I have the Sane Sonic RST599. I'm about to make the video now, and uh, I have a couple other ones ready to go. So, thanks for watching. 7-3, this is KJ4YZI.